Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber, and today I have a good friend with me today, Cherise. Uh, <laughs> we met at the Yarn Shop Fiber Art Gallery in Odessa. Uh, we get together with a group every Thursday and spin and do all kinds of things, and that has developed into great relationships. Um, so the one thing I have to say is you've heard me talk about my great wheel before. And my friend who sold it to me, this is my friend that sold me the Great Wheel that I use every day. And there's so many good vibes going to her because I'm so happy doing it. Anyway, today we are here to talk about a wedding, what do you call it? A wedding caplet. A wedding caplet that she is making. Cherise started uh, telling us a little bit about it while we were at the yarn shop. And then the intrigue grew and grew because, okay, we're just gonna start from the beginning. Um, so, why are you making this? For my niece's wedding. Oh, where? She's going to Rome. That is the intrigue, okay? It's not every day you get to make a caplet for a wedding in Rome. And then, who is she seeing when she's in Rome? She's gonna get a blessing from the Pope. Okay, that makes it even better. Okay, so this beautiful, beautiful item. Okay, so a lot of times our Tampa Fiber Group will chit chat on WhatsApp. And one day Cherise sent a picture of this and it was beautiful and I just really got to thinking about it. So um, what, how did it all start? What did you use? I was at SAF, which is the Fiber Festival in North Carolina every year. My niece was there and my sister. They were talking about the wedding dress and that she has to have sleeves because you can't go to the Vatican or even any of the cathedrals in Rome unless you have your shoulders covered. So she was asking if I could knit her a shawl. Okay. I was at SAF, saw this beautiful German Angora, 50% mm. Angora, 50% Cormo sheep in roving that this woman was selling. Mm. It was just the perfect color, really nice. So I bought it, asked my niece if she liked the color. She said she did. And then I went looking for a pattern. Oh, okay. Wow, because this feels it, fantastic. It's, it's the Angora. Oh, that <laughs> so, is lovely. And then where did you find the pattern? Um, from Interweave Knits. Mm -hmm. I found the pattern. I looked through all of them, which are probably 50 magazines oh. I have. <laughs> And I, because I had, I knew there was some wedding edition, and finally I found it. So I took the picture, sent it to my niece. She said, "Yes, that looked great." So oh, good. I had to spin it then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I had to spin all the fiber, and then I started knitting. Wow. Okay. So this is all knit. Yes. Okay. Very good. Um, where is she getting married in Rome? What is the it's uh, St. Patrick's Church oh, okay. in Rome. Okay. They made all the arrangements, which I didn't know you had to do, but I guess you have to have like a, a wedding planner there so you know all the protocols and they okay. make all the arrangements and they made the arrangement for the Vatican. And so. Oh, wow. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so I wanted the wedding caplet on the mannequin so you could see it better. And Charisse, what did you spin it on? I spun it on this Ashford Traveler. Oh, nice. Um, it's it's a wonder to spin on. I oh, love it. That's great. How long did it take you? Uh, I got the roving in October at SAF, about 12 ounces of it, and I started probably right away because I like to spin every day. Then I started knitting in December because I was really anxious to see how it would work out. Mm -hmm. And at first, I spun it way too thin the gauge was wrong. It turned out to be fingering weight and this needs to be DK weight. So I had to do a three ply instead of two ply. Okay. So it's a good thing I tried out the first batch of spin. Yeah. <laughs> then I had enough that I could actually finish it. So. Oh, very good. It's beautiful. So you, I see you did a cable here and eyelets and the pattern is absolutely beautiful. Oh, fantastic. When I first was knitting it, it didn't look as pretty as it did in the pictures. You know, and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. But then I blocked it and it just, oh, it opened it all up. It opened the eyelets up and it flattened out the cables. 
and it'll look beautiful. Mm, and it does look beautiful. She's going to be so happy to have this. Yeah. Hi, Nan. I just wanted to show you this beautiful packlet. I think it looks beautiful with it on. Mom thinks it makes me look more elegant, especially with the bustle. The bustle in the back. I'm gonna send a picture to Pope Francis and ask if we can come next year. Uh, and that you made this especially for me. Thank you very much. Love you very much. Bye. Wish you were here. Paige, you looked absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing the pictures and congratulations on your wedding. I wish you and Jason a wonderful, happy life together. Thank you. All right, Sharice, this was really fun. Thanks it for coming was. today. Yeah. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching and happy knitting. <laughs> <laughs> I need to breathe. Ha, <laughs> ha,